So I've uh, I wiped the most most of the crap off of the uh, the old Pedersen, but uh, uh, it could be nicer. <laughs> I put oil in it though. You have to manually manually oil the spindle bearings. So let's see. Yeah, and I've uh, I have the part chucked up in with two V blocks and just to the side of the vise, hoping it will stay in place. But there is a tendency when you're way out here, get a lot of leverage on it, it will move. But we'll see. Let's edge find this thing. So I stuck the edge finder in here, and this is really impossible to do with only one hand, so I had to stop you there for a moment. But let's uh, try and find a suitable gear. Maybe about so. Here's the button. Zero my dial and I'm gonna do it again. Ooh. You can see that we were quite a bit off on our first one. I was a bit heavy handed with it. Not one I have faith in. Okay, so. I wonder how the quality of this will be. It's very dark here. I did put up a light there, but it doesn't seem to help much. Okay, so the half of that... Uh, the edge finder is 10 millimeters in diameter, so to get right to the edge over here, we need to move in 5 millimeters, the half of that. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4... Five millimeters that's right on the edge and then we need to get to the center of our part and that's 25 millimeters so I can reset my dial here if I'm feeling brave so And move in 12, uh, 20, half of 20, 12 and a half, yeah, yeah, 12 and a half. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, that's to zero, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And a half. Now, and the idiot check, does it look like it's in the center? It sort of does. And it sort of doesn't. Yeah, that's in the center. So we're gonna, yeah, it's a Husqvarna 250. Lock our axis there. I just thought that it was a bit loose here. I'm gonna tighten it up. So that's the, the lock, the saddle lock or the cross slide lock. Is that the cross slide? 
who knows and then we can move our table over and if we're really finicky we can do the edge too if we're really nerding it out here do i bother yeah all right fire Stabilizes and then it moves out. Awesome. Now we can loosen this thing up. Crank our way down. Move five millimeters in. We're not holding our finger over the camera. There's a bit of glare. One, two, three, four, should be five. Tends to be in the middle of a ten. That looks like it's right on. So now we need to start to think how big of a hole should we have and how far in from the edge should it be is it down here no it's up here amazing so let's do a little uh, investigation and see where it falls this time okay So it appears to be a what? A five millimeter hole, a six millimeter hole. Hang on. This is five. Now it's a six millimeter hole. And that's like right on the edge. It's just a couple of millimeters in from the edge. If I could see anything. Two millimeters in from the edge. That seemed a bit drastic, but two point two point a bar on the edge. Two and a half, I feel. So let's move it one, two and a half. And we can lock our table there. That's awfully close to the edge, but I guess that's how it's supposed to be then we did move in five millimeters right there's our ruler yeah there you are probably something like that so i'm gonna change tools now so this is why you may want a bridge port, or at least something with a quill on it. I got the, the second vaccine dose yesterday, so my arm is a bit uh, iffy, but here we go. Almost there, go on. What the hell? That can't not be right. No, because we have to move the half of our hole. That's what I thought it was a bit off, you see. We need to move three, mil three more millimeters in. That was a close one. 
Okay, so we are now, that's one, two, three. That's where it's supposed to be. That looks more like something. Well, okay, let's go for that. Workout too. Please excuse the uh, the shaky footage here. I think that's enough for that. So now we have to go all the way down here again. And please excuse all the crap around here. I'm building a new garage and I have time to clean up my shop. That's the worst excuse ever, but you know, it's an excuse nevertheless. Nasty, come on. Six millimeter. Loosely assorted drill bits. What's that? Seven. That was terrible. That's probably a mangled five. How about here? Maybe in the wood shop. Woo! Look at that. Pretty nice. All right, more boxes with potential drill bits. No, why? Where have you gone? Maybe where they're supposed to be, but this didn't look too good. Or does it? And it actually looks kind of good. What's this six? It's six and a half. No wonder it doesn't fit. Oh. All right, I'll be back here. I need to find a drill bit. There's our six millimeter drill bit. Our dislocated drill bit is now been located. So now it's probably dull. Ah, come on, there we go. Speed, yes. Sorry for the shaking, but it's kind of hard to crank that thing up and down. Looks like we had uh, quite some luck with that bore we did there. It just licked the edge of it. Awesome. Or the bottom of it. Or Okay, lesson number one. Never take your part out when you have planned to take it out. Is there anything more you have to do? 
because you will never ever get it back into the same spot as it is right now uh, but I don't think there's anything more we need to do I mean we could jam for the edges but I'd rather do that with something else than this thing where is my tool here is my tool Oh yeah. Ta-da! That's kind of nice. I made that. It did not exist before. Out of an old hydraulic ram. Okay. So that concludes that, if I didn't say so, and uh, the next task will be to make a bolt for it, but that will have to be tomorrow. And that will have some uh, features and things, because I want it to look nice, and that will involve this thing quite a lot, I think, to machine that hex and stuff. So... Yeah, I don't know what to say. I hope this wasn't a total waste of your time, and if it was, then you probably found something else to watch by now. So I'll see you when we make the other part. The bolt! <laughs> the bolt that goes in here.